Hey guys, Kierman89. If you don't know me, that's because you don't know me. So today, well, yesterday, I got requested by Loft to do a low poly, well, not a low poly, but just a texture video on how to create textures in Blender. So today I'm going to show, I think, maybe two or three ways how to make uh, textures in Blender. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so... The first way is going to be a way by Infencia, I think that's his name, but that's mainly where I saw it. He's a YouTuber, I will link him in the description. But practically, what you're going to want to do is make a cube, of course. That's what you always do. Oh, I should probably put on screencast so you guys... Actually, I don't even think it's that useful because all it does is show in layout. But go into shade and you're gonna press new here it's gonna make this pop up and this is called nodes and practically what this is is fil you can add filters to customize the identity and the texture of the object so just know base color is actually the one that's important all this other stuff is mainly used for like renders and like high quality textures all right, I'm going to get the image file. You can search it up here, or you can just drag and drop. All right, I have Infencia's palette. I'm going to put to color. And because it's so low resolution, it comes out blurry. Fix this, go to linear, and go to closest. Then you're going to want to go to UV editing. And this is mainly where you're going to like customize and texture your part. So for low poly, uh, I usually, because this is a, like a palette, you're going to select all this, press S to scale. Oh, you need to be over here. Sorry about that. A, S, and you're going to press 0. This is going to bring it all to the center, and then you're going to press enter to confirm. And you can move this about. If your, uh, what's it called, cube isn't changing color, or if you didn't see changing color in shading, just know you have to click on this part viewport shading and that's how you can see like all the shading and uh and textures same with over here it'll come up like this but you probably have to click that if you want to change a single face just select that face or whatever if you want to select like a specific part select that g and you can move it so that's how you texture it if you were to export this to roblox as fbx it will come up with this texture and it'll look like this uh, just know the lighting might be a little bit different because I do not know about that but yeah blender lighting is a little bit different and if you have any like settings that you changed from over here it might change it now we're gonna do the second way and this way is if you have like a specific texture that you want to wrap over an object um, so what you're going to want to do, whatever this object it could be, it could be anything. Select it, go over to shading, same thing, but this time you're going to add the image. So I have this texture, I'm going to put to base color. And as you can see, I don't need to do any uh, adjustments to linear, because that's the image. Now, if I think this is good, I can just, um, uh, what's it called, import it to Roblox. But if you want, if there's a couple issues with how the texture is getting wrapped which can be seen in uv editing like for example you want this side to not wrap or maybe like what's it called let me find a spot like right here this spot this like uh these two sides don't wrap and say this is like a very big rock or something and there's one edge that needs to be wrapped perfectly like this part so what you're going to do if there's like an issue with these faces Press A. Well, actually, yeah, you have to be in UV editing. And then you're going to press F3. And you're going to search up UV. And it'll be smart UV. Hold up. Click on it. And that, and then once you click it, it will adjust these parts to the proper area. I'm going to make an actual object to make it easier to see and understand. So I will make that right now. All right, so I have my texture, I mean my rock. So as you can see, it looks pretty good, except for this face. Uh, that's because of, what's it called? 
there were uh, edges in here and I dissolved them and practically it made all that collapse stretching out the entire image but up here you can see there's a couple issues with the actual texture so how to fix it you're going to go into UV editing and the main way you could do it is press A and this is the most basic way I do not know how to actually UV like wrap really well so F3 and you're going to search this up with smart UV project click it and make sure it's selected otherwise it won't work this is going to be the limit that you can practically for these edges to wrap because as you can see from this from like what's it called the UV editor editor you can some of these vertices do not connect and that is like those points up here and that's what the issue is but down here the, they're wrapping really well and also the bottom part that was like wrapped like right here in the line so that's really messed up but just read these if you want to know them angle limit is the most important one add it and as you can see everything went absolutely crazy over here but as you can see it looks really good but now we have some other issues like right over here does not look good um so but down here as you can see it's fixed i'd say 43 uh 53 probably the best and seems like everything worked there's not much i could do about it i randomized this rock so a lot of the spaces aren't perfect there are better ways to uh, fix this but that's more of an intermediate thing and i do not do that because i am a low poly builder for the most part and i also mainly use roblox textures so now i'm going to export this in and i'm also going to make some other way actually yeah i'm going to export this but i'm also going to make show you how to do the third way using roblox textures and colors select a cube this time i'm going to make a very basic cube uh, it'll be like a low poly style, but you can do this for anything. Just mainly with textures that you import or use from a uh, studio. Alright, so there's a tree. Kind of looks ugly, but oh well. So, say you want to have each of these leaves uh in like customizable or each of these spaces customizable so already you can see from collection i'm pretty sure i already said this but i'll say it again each part of the select uh collection is going to be exported individually as meshes if they're like uh what's it called cubes or whatever or just meshes so if you want to make a specific side like a different color you can press p or you can right click you can either press P and then press selection or right click go to separate selection and what this is doing is adding a new cube or whatever this is to the collection and this new model is now customizable if you export to studio in like bulk so I can now change the color of this one and then change the color of this one differently so yeah, that's the best way, and it doesn't need to be like one face, it can be as many faces, so say I wanted to do this side, this side, this side, P, enter, and yeah. Alright, I will export these, and yeah, see you in studio. Okay, I forgot to mention just something that's really basic if you don't know it, but this is how you like export an FBX. So you go to file, and you go export click FBX and then you're going to save it to whatever file you have then you're going to go to studio and once you're in the place let me go full screen. you're going to want to open up asset manager oh I had to publish it and then after I publish my game you're going to go upload right here and it's going to say bulk import this tab is going to open up to your like PC dr uh, drives and this is where you're going to put in the mesh so for example i'll put in my mesh actually i will choose a different example
you're going to just press apply you don't need to worry about anything there and it will uh, import your tree or whatever it was if it's multiple things let me get an example like there was multiple parts in or things in the collection from blender what are you going to do let me go find a example like right here and it says rescale just make sure it doesn't uh, import as a single mesh that's not what you want unless if you want to import like an entire building you know but right here I have multiple things as you can see it will trigger down there's something called bulk import it will pop up on your screen it'll just show the meshes being imported so then you just wait uh, I have I'm like halfway done with these and then I can import them all together so these are my candy meshes all right so I finished and you'll select that one hold shift click down here select all and then insert with location as you can see I have my meshes and each one I can move and like any separation I can change so yeah I can change the colors and that's how you do it all right back to the actual video so now that I'm in studio I have my meshes and as you can see the texture for the rock came out perfectly the same would happen with the cube I made for low poly but just know it'll come out like this and for the tree I can recolor each part okay so I have my tree I don't know what happened with this fish this fish just died I don't know it just broke it didn't make it a major oof but other than that face that I have no clue what I did to it so this side I split it in half so as you can see I can change the colors and I don't know what I did for this I don't think I did anything but yeah that's how you can practically change the don't worry about that that's it look like that so that's how you can change the textures with roblox uh, textures and colors so that's my tutorial really basic uh, hope you guys enjoyed and until next time see you guys